Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about a very important topic and you must have studied in your engineering and that is regarding coupling. We are going to discuss everything which are its type with the diagram. That is flexible coupling okay, and rigid coupling and their subtypes as well. Their advantages and disadvantages all together everything. So we'll go one by one. First of all see what is a coupling. Coupling are used to join two machine parts to transmit and driving torque from one part to another. They are not permanent nature. They can be removed if any maintenance work is needed on any of the machine part. It plays a very important and critical role. The reason being is that you must have seen any pump, any machinery. Whenever you are joining two components, you need this uh, coupling machine part. Uh, example, a centrifugal pump impeller is coupled to the driving shaft by a key motor and pump propulsion engine and propeller etc. The power can also be transmitted from equipment to other by friction clutch, belt drive or uh, gearing. Friction clutch type coupling is used where transmission of torque and power may be intermittent. Belt drive requires more space. It is used for low power transfer. Belt drive is also used where multiple power output is required. So there was a question that why we don't directly couple the compressor we have built now so uh, this is also being asked low power time belt drive is also used where multiple power output is required from single input power gear drives are required where power transmission is high and revolution of shafts are may or may not be equal okay couplings are uh, two types flexible and rigid coupling some of them are named as follows types of coupling you see here this is jaw coupling okay uh, flexible coupling type we have jaw coupling you seen the diagram then we have Alden coupling then we are going to see all these things in detail this is universal coupling one of the very important uh, coupling okay then we have uh, 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 rigid coupling wherein we have sleeve or muff coupling this is also important we have clamp coupling flange coupling okay this is flange coupling uh, this one is also very important in main engine shaft also you find here find it there then we have gear coupling these are very important advantages and disadvantages of rigid and flexible coupling when we talk about rigid coupling so its advantages as pa power transmission is high wear and tears are less don't does not require lubricant disadvantages high degree of alignment is required cannot dampen the shock load or vibration when we talk about flexible coupling its advantages are the some misalignment is acceptable normally power transmission is low okay absorbs the vibration and shock load since the name only suggests that it is flexible so it uh, takes some amount of this vibration and shock when we talk about the disadvantages of uh, this thing, then it is high wear and tear due to nominal misalignment. Higher rate of renewal of component mostly required lubricant or self-lubricating material. When we talk about rigid coupling, what are rigid coupling? Then, for example, it comes. A rigid coupling is a unit of hardware used to join two shafts within a motor or mechanical system. It may be used to connect two separate systems such as motor and a generator. Okay. A rigid coupling may uh, may also be added between shafts to reduce shock and wear at the point where the shafts meet. When joining shafts within a machine, mechanics can choose between flexible and rigid coupling. While flexible unit offers some movement and give uh, between the shafts, rigid couplings are most effective choice to precise alignment and secure hold. By precisely aligning the two shafts and holding them firmly in place, rigid couplings help to maximize performance and increase the expected life of the machine. The rigid couplings are available in two basic designs to fit the need of different applications. Sleeve style coupling are the most affordable and easiest to use. They consist of a single tube of material with an inner diameter that's equal in size to the shaft. The sleeve slips over the shaft so they meet in the middle of the coupling. A series of set screws can be tightened so they touch as you seen in the diagram. Top of each uh, shaft and hold them in place without passing all the way through the coupling. Now clamped or compression rigid couplings come in two parts and fit together around the shaft to form a sleeve. 
they offer more flexibility than sleeved models and can be used on shafts that are fixed in place they generally are large enough so that screws can pass all the way through the coupling and into the second half to ensure a secure hold flange rigid couplings are designed for heavy loads or industrial equipment they consist of short sleeves surrounded by a perpendicular flange one coupling is placed on each shaft so the two flanges line up face to face a series of screws or bolts can be installed in the flanges to hold them together because of their size and durability flange units can be used to bring shafts into alignment before they are joined together rigid couplings are used when precise shaft alignment is required so this we have already shaft misalignment will affect the coupling's performance as well as its life examples are sleeve coupling these are the example of rigid coupling we have already seen the diagram a sleeve coupling consists of a pipe whose bore is finished to the required uh, tolerance based on the shaft size based on the usage of the coupling a keyway is made in the bore in order to transmit the torque by means of the key two threaded holes are provided in order to lock the coupling in position sleeve couplings are also known as box couplings in this case shaft ends are coupled together and abutted against each other which are enveloped by muff or sleeve clamp or split muff coupling a clamp uh, coupling is different from sleeve coupling in the sleeve used in the type is split from one side the shaft are entered and key key to the sleeve and then split side are screwed together this is a rigid coupling and is modification of the sleeve coupling it is it is just as a modified version you can say of the sleeve coupling altogether now when we talk about uh, this tapered shaft lock a tapered lock is a form of keyless shaft locking device that does not require any material to be removed from the shaft the basic idea is similar to a clamp coupling but the moment of rotation is closer to the center of the shaft an alternative coupling device to the traditional parallel key the tapered lock removes the possibility of play due to the worn keyway it is more robust than using a key because maintenance only require one tool and self centering balance rotation means it lasts longer than a keyed joint would but the downside is that it costs more now when we talk about jaw coupling jaw coupling is a type of motion control coupling designed to transmit torque by connecting two shafts while damping system vibration which protects other component from damage jaw couplings are composed of three parts two metallic hubs and the elastomer inserted called an element but commonly referred to as spider the what is a jaw coupling or a spider coupling you must be changing here in steering gear also it is found the three parts press fit together with a jaw from each hub fitted alternatively with the lobes of the spider the curved jaw of the hub reduces deformation of the spider to maintain the zero backlash fit the elastomer of the spider can be made in different hardness which allows the user to customize the coupling so that it absorbs more or less vibration the more damping ability the coupling has the less torsional strength it possesses the jaw coupling is less suited for applications that rely on a constant scanning type of motion where accuracy is required during movement which requires a torsionally stronger coupling the drawbacks of a jaw coupling is lack of misalignment capability too much axial motion will cause the coupling to come apart while too much angular or parallel misalignment will result in bearing loads jaw couplings are also considered fail safe if the spider fails the jaws of the two hub will mate much like teeth on the two gear and continue to transmit torque this may or may not be desirable to the user depending on the application jaw couplings are well balanced and able to tolerate high rpm with the damping capabilities and interchangeable spiders jaw couplings make a great solution for shock absorption the gains langer coupling is an all metal coupling for rotating shaft it is an electric in torsion allowing to absorb a torsional vibration it is very important coupling the coupling employs a series of radially positioned set of leaf spring attached to an outer drive member and indexed into a axial groove in the inner drive member the chamber around each spring is filled with oil 
When the spring pack is deflected, damping occurs as the oil flows from one side of the spring pack to another. Capacity is 15 thousand HP per, per hundred RPM maximum recommended speech is this much shaft bore up to 12 inch special design consider designed primarily for diesel and reciprocating machine that is the reason in diesel engine you will find this capable of transmitting shock torque values substantially higher other than coupling until spring reach maximum angular movement where the radial stiffness increases substantially the gaze linger coupling is an torsional elastic high damping steel spring coupling with hydrodynamic damping high reliability long interval between overalls and low life cycle cost are the main advantages it is ideal for all type and sizes of machinery especially diesel and gas engines unlike some other coupling it is not intended to compensate for high radial misalignment between shaft and it can compensate axial misalignment better than elastomer coupling the coupling may have a small ability to compensate for wearing alignment, but if it is needed, it is generally done through using an additional coupling in tandem. The coupling also run at the same speed for input and output shafts, unlike a torque converter. The design was invented by so and so on its name, the coupling was uh, named. It is most constructed inside the robust enclosed steel housing, an outer housing and a central hub or inner star from the input and output drive member internally the drive is transmitted through a number of radial leaf springs now this leaf spring you find in uh, turbocharger altogether okay there i have already covered a video on turbocharger the steel leaf springs are available in several configuration and stiffness increases liner with displacement these leaf springs are dampened by damping a ring the tips of the longest leaves engaging in splines in the inner star hydraulic damping is provided as the leaf springs are immersed in oil any movement of the spring plates must squeeze oil through the narrow gap around them between the plates and the casing as the springs have a high surface area yet there is only a small gap between them and their housing the damping factor can be high damping can be adjusted completely independent from the coupling's torsional stiffness the oil used for damping is usually supplied by engine lubrication system through a drilling in the crankshaft if this is unavailable an oil filled coupling can be used the oil filling also aids lubrication and encourages a long service life now uses when we talk about the coupling is mostly used on output of large diesel engine it isolates vibration between engine shafts and drive component a major benefit can be av avoid resonance problem where system have critical speed that must be avoided use of a dampened coupling can shift this frequency to an unimportant speed outside the engine operation speed range and damp resonance peak its ability to easily tailor its damping uh, is valuable here to allow turning to a particular frequency the nearly line linear uh, torsional stiffness makes it easy to calculate torsional vibration this is what we were talking about its advantages when we talk about torsionally soft with good camping characteristic freedom of axial shaft movement high damping the ratio between damping and elastic torque can be between 0.2 and 0.7 considerably higher than that of a elastomeric coupling a wide range of stiffness variation stiffness and damping are adjustable independent to each other this can also be adjusted by swapping spring packs without needing to replace an entire coupling no aging unlike elastomer coupling the material do not change or wear out over time stiffness and damping remains constant in service now high permissible torque up to 6500 kN and high resistance to vibratory torque unaffected by hot and oily environment the coupling may continue in service even with the broken spring plates that is the major thing that is why we find it in it are compact diesel engines compact design now disadvantage when we talk about that the coupling is large and relatively complex it is best suited to higher power application in small applications a simpler elastomer or gear or spline coupling is adequate and sometimes cheaper requires lubrication for damping temperature limitations due to lubrication torsionally characteristic changes due to loss of lubrication okay so these were the advantages you must be wondering because i am not here to teach you all i am here to if the question is asked because these are condensed note 
notes made by me from different different website so just i read through the lines because you already know all those things there's nothing here to teach i'm here to help you in what you are supposed to present to the surveyor when they ask you a question altogether thank you so much